The first day of spring usually means clearing out your closets and deep cleaning all the nooks and crannies in your house. Is that what you're supposed to do? That's what, I, yeah, oh, spring cleaning. Man, well, it's also a great time <laughs> to dust off your financial plan. Elijah Kovar with Great Waters Financial has a three-step guide to help you do that. Elijah, good to see you. Good to see you. I, did, I did clean Happy out the spring. garage yesterday. That's so. very good. That's yes. All good. the nooks little and little crannies. Little. No nooks and crannies, oh. yes. Do we need to get to the nooks and crannies of our finances? or? I think it might be smart. Might okay. be missing something otherwise. Uh, first things first, we've got to destroy and organize. So this is getting rid of all those documents that came in the mail that you weren't sure if you were supposed to keep. Getting rid of old statements, credit, and investment accounts. Everything stored online anyways. How do we know what to get? We can get rid of all of that stuff? Well, keep your tax returns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep any documentation that supports write-offs. Send the rest to the shredders. That's right. Get because everything's on. online. Yep. Yeah. Then once we've done that, it, you know, making sure that your basics are in place. You, you've got your accounts and passwords organized, documented, somewhere safe where your spouse knows about them if you're married. Sounds good. Um, then budgeting, savings, being clear about what you're spending for the coming months. Okay, and step two, review and re-evaluate. Yep, so once we've got the basics taken care of, now it's time to take a look at the overall financial plan. From the basics, um, like Social Security and what when we're gonna claim, all of those things, how does that play with your overall plan? And if you're still working, making sure you're taking full advantage of any match that your employer's giving on a 403B or 401K. A lot of people kind of miss out on those opportunities, don't they? Well, yeah, that's free money on the yeah. table. It's the best investment you can possibly make, and people don't take it full advantage of the match. So that's a first and foremost, make sure we're at least doing that. Okay, and once you do that, you suggest in that investigate and negotiate. Yep. Two main areas, uh, just to kind of finish it up here, but uh, first of all, insurance does not stop with health insurance, life, or I'm sorry, uh, uh, homeowners and auto insurance. We okay. want to be looking at two main things here, uh, long-term care and life insurance. These are the ones that we never want to think about it because we never want to have to use them, but there's a lot of peace of mind knowing you're covered or reviewing your financial plan and you, if you have assets to cover long-term care or if the worst happens, you know, an unexpected illness or accident, make sure you've built that into your plan and decide yeah. if you're going to pay for that or if you're going to have the insurance company pay for it. Um, the last one is debt. You know, we all want to get away from it, but people, I think, cringe so much at even the thought of it. We hate having mm -hmm. it, so they don't want to think about it. But what if you're paying too much in your interest rate and you don't have to? Shop around, call your uh, companies that you have credit cards or debt with, and see if they'll give you a lower rate. Definitely Smart. something you can so. clean out this time of year, all that debt. Yeah. That's right. New beginnings. Yeah, I was feeling like out. throwing stuff out left and right yesterday, so I'm excited to go throw out some documents. Yep. I feel, Do it. My <laughs> wife, sometimes it's a fight. I like to throw it Make out. Make sure you shred them. Okay, very good, Elijah. Thank you. There's still